Hi guys! Welcome back to the third and last part of our update with the CIMB Bank PH app. In this video, we will be talking about the features offered by the CIMB Bank PH app. So, after going through the registration and verification requirements, we are now ready to go through the application. So, after logging in, this should be the main view of the app. So, like any other online banking and financial app, it shows you the total balance at the top. Just below the total balance, you will see the breakdown of amounts per account type. So the total balance is the sum of FAST or FASTPASS account plus UPSAVE account and GSAVE account. We have previously discussed FAST or FASTPASS account and GSAVE, so I'll be saving those and cut to the discussion about UPSAVE account. So CIMB UPSAVE account is basically CIMB's own version of GCash GSAVE account. The only difference we see here is, as of the recording of this video, is that the current offered interest rate per annum of CIMB UPSAVE account is at 4%, while GCash GSAVE is at... The current interest rate is at 4.1% per annum. The rest of the features are the same with no minimum balance required and no minimum initial deposit. Again, since there are no additional charges to have this account created and we also want to maximize the use and explore the app, we have decided to create an UpSave account. As you can see here, signing up doesn't really take a lot of time and no further KYC information required as you have already undergone through it upon registering for an account. As there's no required initial balance, you may choose to cash in now or later. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. The next thing you will see in here is a set of the key features of this app, which we will be discussing further when we go through the main menu found at the bottom. And then below the key features, you will see the transaction history, which is pretty straightforward. It shows the transaction type, the amount, and the date. And finally, the main menu bar, which shows Home, Product, Transactions, and Card tabs. Now that we are done discussing the Home view, let's see the next tab, which is the Product tab. Here you will see Apply for Product, My Accounts, and My Personal Loan. Under Apply for Product, you may apply for the UpSave account, which we did and have discussed earlier, or Apply for a Loan. Under loan, there's a personal or fixed term loan. So in case you want to apply for any of these, here are some of the information and conditions that you might want to know. Under personal loan, the current interest rate is at 1.12% per month, which is subject to credit score rating. The loan amount is up to 1 million pesos, and the tenure is from 12 to 60 months. The minimum salary is at 15,000 pesos per month. So if you want to apply for a personal loan, just click apply now. The next type of loan is fixed term loan. For the fixed term loan, the promo for 0% interest is running from April 7 to May 31, 2020. This is offered to selected CIMB customers who received an SMS or email about it. We're not so sure of the eligibility, but if you are interested, you can always try inquiring CIMB customer service about this. The loan amount for fixed term loan is between 30,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos with a 12 month term and also has a 5% processing fee. So the next option under products tab is my accounts. When you click it, it appears that this is the full view of all your accounts linked to CIMB bank page. So just swipe left to see the other accounts. And for other details like full account number, interest rate, and um, your full name just click on the account and it should show you the information so you can see here the account number the name of the account holder the interest rate for that specific account and the status so the next option under products tab is my personal loan which is currently inaccessible since i have not availed any loans so let us now go through the transactions tab First is cash in. So you have two options for cashing in. That's over the counter cash in and online cash in. Here in over the counter cash in, these are the partners of CIMB Bank. So the first is 7 Eleven, 
Second is other payment centers. Just click through that so that you would know the list of partners, payment centers. And then go to previous page, buy at center, and over the counter banks. So just click through that for the list of banks that have partnered for cashing in. So the next option is online cash in. Their partner is Dragon Pay. So you have to make sure that your account is listed here. So that's Fast Plus account, G Save Plus account, and Upsave account. And next is the banks that you are transferring from. So just click that and make sure that the bank you're transferring from is listed here. Let's say BPI. And then the cash in amount. For example, 2,000 pesos. And as you can see here, the cash in fee is free of charge for CIMB customers. So the next option is buy load. So I guess if you're a user of Gcash and other online financial or banking app, this kind of transaction is already familiar with you. So just um, make sure that the number is inputted there and there are load amounts that you can choose from. So the next is transfer. You have the option to transfer to your CIMB accounts between FastPlus account, GSAVE account, and UpSAVE account. And the next is transferring to another CIMB account. This is for another CIMB account holder. The next is to other banks. You are given two options for this kind of transfer on how you want to transfer. It's either PesoNet or DragonPay. So just read the conditions on transfer and we which you would prefer for your transfer. Or maybe also way considering your prior experiences with these channels. Next is to my favorites. So I guess this comes in handy if you are if you are having periodic transfers to a certain account or person so you don't need to fill in all the fields from scratch all the time. So the next option under transactions is pay bills. So when I first browsed through the app, I was really surprised to see that it's offering quite a wide variety of utility payments. Although in comparison, Gcash still offers more partners per utility type, it is still good to know that there are other options we can use for example during maintenance schedules or downtimes of other apps. It is also helpful especially in times like this where a lot of payment centers are closed and we are all left to pay our we are all left to pay for our utilities online. So to check if your merchant is listed, just click through the logos per category and it should give you the partner merchants. So the next option under transactions tab is cash out. Currently, the only cash out option for CIMB bank is buy at center. Although you can always make use of your Gcash MasterCard if you have availed it and transfer the funds among your CIMB bank accounts. And another way is transferring the funds directly to your other bank account that is linked to an ATM card. We will also be discussing the Fast or FastPlus account debit card in the later part of this video which you can also use for cashing out. So the last option under Transactions tab is Scheduled Transfer. So it would have been better if there's an option for scheduled transfer to other banks but it's currently limited among your accounts and to other CIMB account holders. It is still good because not many banking applications offer this kind of feature. So let's see the fields under transfer to other CIMB account. So choose from which account you are transferring from. And under 2, I tried importing contacts by clicking this icon. So it's, it imports contacts from my phone list. And it seems that it automatically detects if that person has a linked mobile number to a CIMB or GSAVE account. So as you can see here, when I clicked the person's name, it pushed through and it shows the account number of that person. Input the amount. So let's say it's 2,000 pesos. The available frequency of transfer is daily, weekly. So you can choose which day you would like to schedule the transfer and also monthly. And you can pick the day of the month from which you want to do your scheduled transfer. 
You can also choose the start and end date of your scheduled transfer and that should be good to go. Finally, the last tab is the card tab. So to get a free CIMB debit card, you will need to fulfill all the conditions below that's undergoing a document verification, a cumulative cash in of 5,000 pesos at which you can withdraw anytime, and a delivery address confirmation which will only be prompted when the first conditions are met. So as I mentioned in the earlier parts of the video, this card can also be used when trying to cashing out the deposited money in the CIMB bank accounts. Also, for additional information, according to the website, you can use this card to withdraw from over 20,000 ATMs nationwide for free. I think this is really great if it's true though we are yet to confirm this because we are on the process of availing this card. So as you can see here, while we were on pause in recording this video, we tried cashing into our GSAVE account and right away, this condition has been completed. So I, if you go to the main page, you can see that I deposited 5,000 pesos and that's under my GSAVE account. Okay, so what's left for me to get debit card is now only the delivery address confirmation. So we are working on that. We will be providing updates about this soon, so stay tuned. And that's it for the main features of the app. If you have any updates on your profile or personal details, you may just click the button at the top left corner and see profile and settings or personal details. Or if you have any questions or feedback on the app, you may check FAQs and tutorial under Help Center. Also, the notification bell can be found at the top right corner of the main menu for notifications. So to wrap up this video, I think it's really great that we are now able to set up our accounts from GSAVE here in CIMB Bank PH as it gives us more options, especially for customers. And I hope that this video will help you utilize the app well. Thank you for watching our video and if you like this video, hit like and subscribe.